Hello there, I'm Sir Fancy and in this tutorial I will show you how to create simple stopwatch for your game. Let me show you how it looks like. If I click on play, you can see there is simple stopwatch on top of my character. It follows him, blah blah blah, not important part. If I press spacebar, it paused. I just set it to spacebar, you can set it to whatever you want. And if I release it, it continues counting. It's set to seconds and minutes, but you can use it whatever time values you prefer to use. All right, let's get started. I will make it just in my third person character from template. Let's start by adding here a text, something that will show us stopwatch. So add component text, text render, and let's put it up here, rotate and set alignment to center right here, horizontal alignment center. Now let's start in construction script because we will set up here how it should look on the start. So first of all, we will need some variables for that. So let's start with integer and we'll actually need two of them. So integer for minutes and for seconds. So let's call it minutes and duplicate it for seconds. Now let's just select the text. So take it here and we'll set here text, set text. Now let's take here your minutes and your seconds and we want to put them together into one variable. So we will append it, right click here and let's put here append, string append function. Now click here on plus, let's put colon in the middle and as our seconds and minutes, let's set this thing. But we also want it always to be in double digit. So for that, we will first of all connect it to string. So, oh no, it actually is already string, my bad. We want to connect it to text. So to text, integer to text put this down and set it to minimum integral digits to two. And the same thing with our minutes, come on. Take your minutes here and connect it like this. Now let's connect it for C and A. And I think that I am doing it in the other way around. I want to have minutes on my A and seconds as my C, like this. Now it's wonderfully crossing to confuse you all. You are welcome. Connect construction script and connect our written value. Now in viewport, we should have here our 000 time, wonderful. So now let's create here a timer that will take care of it. So right click and we will set timer by function name. And we want to do it on event begin play. So let's right click here, put here event begin play. If you don't have one yet, and it seems like I don't, connect it in here, set it to looping and function name will be stopwatch and now make sure that you select corrected time if you set it on one which is what i will do it will set it every one minute will this thing fire every one second will this thing fire which is exactly what i want you can set it to 0 0.1 if you want to add milliseconds etc etc it's up to you now i have to create those functions so then that one function let's copy this thing create new function and select it in here so now what will happen on event plugin play, it will start timer and that will every one second fire something. And that something will be, of course, adding some value in here. So in seconds, I want to set it to plus plus. So it will add one to it. Now what I want is to check whether seconds are higher than 60. So put here a branch and make sure that seconds are less than 60. So let's just put here int and and you know what, it will be probably better if we set it to equal. So let's put here equal to. So if it is equal to 60, you want to do the same thing with minutes. So take it in here and set it, set our minutes to plus one. But if it's false, you want it to continue and just set your text. So you can take it from a construction script. Let's take all this and you can actually probably convert it to macro. That will be easier. New macro, call it set time find your macro in ah uh, where is it ah uh, there we go set time macro and connect it in here and one more thing i would almost forget if you set to plus one minute you also have to set seconds back to zero so let's put here seconds and set it to zero and then you also want to set time and it seems like it's adding something rotation is not really what i would like it to do but hey it works. And let me show you one more useful thing. That's how to pause it. So we will need to take this timer handle and promote it to variable because we will work with that. And let's call it timer reference of, or let's set it just uh, every time I press jump, which is spacebar in my case, I want to take it and pause it. So pause timer by handle. And once I release it, I want to unpause it. So unpause timer by handle. 
Now it's going pretty well. Two, three, I will hold spacebar and it's not updating, nothing is happening. You can set it to whatever you want. Now let me release it and here we go, it's going again. So that's about it for stopwatch. Now let me quickly explain how it all works so I make sure that you really understand it and not just copy it. So first thing you will do in construction script is set time, which is just setting that text to variables that I created before. Right now they are empty, so all of them are on zero zeros. Now on event begin play, which means once the game starts or once this blueprint is spawned, you set timer by function name. Set it on looping, that means it will forever loop unless you delete it and set it to time one, which means it will every second do something. Now in that function, what it will simply do, every time it fires, which means every second, it will take seconds and add one to it. And it will keep doing it until it reaches 60. If it reaches 60, it will do the same thing for a minute and resets our second. And each time it does it, it sets your time. Now on start of that game, I created reference for the timer that I control with spacebar. I can either pause it or unpause it. All right, that's about it for this tutorial. I hope that you learned something. If you want project files for this, they are on my Patreon. And huge thank you to everyone who is already supporting me there. Your help is helpful, as you would expect from help. So thank you for that. That's everything from me. See you around and surf and see out.